Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can track mileage for vehicles in QuickBooks so you have a record of vehicle mileage for tax purposes. You can also assign mileage to a specific customer job so you can bill the customer for the mileage if needed. There are some limitations to the use of this data, however. You cannot use the data to reimburse employees or vendors for mileage. You also cannot track specific vehicle expenses like tolls paid, gas, and other types of expenses. You can work around this by entering those charges as a bill, which can be charged to the customer. Also, vehicle mileage information from Quicken will not be imported into QuickBooks. Generally, you can use either the standard mileage rate or the actual expenses for calculating vehicle mileage expenses. You should consult with your tax advisor or the IRS to determine which method you should use, if any. To enter vehicle mileage, select Company from the menu bar, then choose the Enter Vehicle Mileage command to launch the Enter Vehicle Mileage window. Use the Vehicle drop-down at the top of the window to select for which vehicle you will be entering mileage. You can type a new vehicle description into this field and then use the Quick Add feature to quickly add the vehicle to the vehicle list if needed. Note that you can also click the Vehicle List button in the toolbar at the top of the Enter Vehicle Mileage window to open the list of vehicles if you would like to enter a detailed description about the vehicles used by your company. Next, use the Trip Start Date and Trip End Date Calendar drop-down fields to input the start and end dates of the trip that you are recording. Input the odometer start and end values into the boxes provided to fill in the total miles by subtracting the two values. You may also simply type the total miles of the trip into the total miles box if needed. To assign the miles to a specific customer or job, you can check the billable checkbox in the upper right corner of this window and then use the Customer Job drop-down to select the customer or job to which you want to assign the mileage. Then use the Item drop-down to select your mileage item from the item list. Now if you are going to be reimbursed for mileage by the customer, you need to create a mileage item as an other charge or service type item within the item list so you can use it to collect the mileage amounts in an invoice at a later point. After entering the mileage, feel free to add any additional notes into the notes field and then click the save and close button when finished. Also, Note the Mileage Rates button at the top of the Enter Vehicle Mileage window. If you click this button, you will be presented with the Mileage Rates dialog box. Here you can input the most recent effective date of the federal mileage rate into the column available. Then set the rate into the adjacent rate column next to the specified date. Check with the IRS for any effective rate changes and make sure that you keep this information current. Just click the Close button when you are finished entering the mileage rates. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.